all time and you are reaping the benefits and mercies of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we are back with Quran daily we have done five parts of this Ramadan we have been doing a Surah Furqan in two parts and then Surah Noor in two parts and then Surah Mu'minun in one part this Surah over here is <coughs> one of my favorite surahs of all time actually i'm gonna scratch that it is my favorite surah of all time uh, whenever i recite this surah whenever i do the seer of this surah it is always a treat and i love this surah a lot and this is suratul hajj the surah of the pilgrimage it is the 22nd surah in the quran and it is a madri surah again and its sequence is the 103rd surah to be revealed in the quran keep that in mind it's a madri surah and it has 78 verses and 10 rukus 10 sections now a little context the madni surahs is very little in quran and the gap between these madni surahs are 12 surah tauba which is the ninth to Suratul Hajj, the 22nd. These two are Madani Surahs. In between are Makki Surahs of three, three sections. The first three sections, Yunus, Hud, Yusuf. What do they have in common? Stories of the Prophets, huruf e and so on. Then the next one are, excuse me, ha, Suratul Rad, Suratul Ibrahim, and Suratul Hijr. They also have the things in common. Then we have the next part suratul nahl suratul is suratul isra and suratul kaf and i we are going to do all these three surahs so yeah they are very similar subhanallah alhamdulillah lazi and miracles of allah and stories these then the next three in pairs surat not in pair in sections uh, suratul maryam suratul taha suratul anbiya same things stories short and sweet verses and the same pattern and Suratul Hajj and Suratul Mu'minun are a pair. These two surahs were revealed in pairs. One is a Makki and one is a Madni surah. This is the earliest Madni surah that has been revealed, Suratul Hajj. It was before the Battle of Badr. This is Suratul Hajj, the Madni surah. And again, Madni surah is really one of my favorite sections of surahs. And Suratul Hajj is my favorite surah in the Quran. So this is going to be quite fun. And you can see most of these verses are quite similar to Suratul Mu'minun. So without any further ado, let's go. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Ya ayuhan nasu taku rabbaku minan zalzalat as-saati shayun azim. O those who believe, stay steadfast and be fearful of your Lord. Indeed, that earthquake of the day of judgment is going to be very bad when there are minor earthquakes six five you can feel them on a scale and it can feel very um, catastrophic but that earthquake is going to be very big than six or ten maybe 15 25 something like that and yes it's going to be much more bigger so fear that and then a description of that day and again this verse i have seen these two verses, the first two verses have been recited in the khutbah of Juma. I have quite a lot seen that in the khutbah of Juma, the Arabic khutbah, this has been recited, these two verses. Now the second verse, Yawma tarawna atadhalu kullu murdiyati namma ardat wa tadaw kullu dhati hamlin hamla. Wa taran nasa sukara wa ma hum bi sukara wa lakin nazaab allahi shatid. And on that day, you're gonna see that every mother has forgot about her child. This is a very important um, idiom not an idiom actually a parable why in animals in humans in flies flies too I have said that not out of randomness actually the relationship of mother and child is very important and the closest not in humans in um, I have observed this in chickens yes in cats, in dogs, in uh, monkeys, in apes, in gorillas, in even flies, a tirsi fly. 
all of them have this relation of mother and child very strong relation but on the day of judgment this relationship will be forgotten and everyone will care for his own self what are the kullu dhati hamle namla and every one with the load will drop the load what are the nasa sukara and you will see the people drunk wama hum bhi sukara but they are not drunk walakin nazab allah shadid but the torment of allah is big ومن الناس من يجادل في الله بغير علم ويتبع كل شيطان مريد and those who dispute among Allah without any reason now this is not referring to i'm going to tell you but this is referring in question to a very famous polytheist nadir ibn harith i think if i am sure i think his name was nadir ibn harith or uqba ibn abi muait these two were really outspoken against muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam they disputed because every one of the followers of abu jahl disputed long story short and this is again about those people the so called scholars who try to disprove the quran they might have some phd some very false degree no they have some degree but degree is not very big thing in the light that they are friend of satan so they might have some degree in worldly life but they are in friend of satan in character so yes kutiba alayhi annahu man tawallahu fa annahu yudillu wa yahdihi ila azab as-sayy and it is written and prescribed upon him that he who is the follower of him and gets misled by him him is shaitan will go in the fire so these friends of shaitan will go in the fire now this verse the fifth verse is very similar to suratul mu'minun again it is assertion that this surah is a pair this verse again is very similar to suratul mu'minun ya ayyuhan nasu in kuntum fi raibi min al ba'thi fa inna khalaqnakum min turabin thumma min nutbatin thumma min mudghati mukhallaqati wa ghayri mukhallaqati li nubayyan lakum wa nukirru fil arhami ma nashaa ila ajli musamman thumma nukhrijukum tiflan thumma li tablughu wa shuddakum wa minkum man yutawaffa wa minkum man yuraddu ila ardi al umri li kayla ya'lam li kayla ya'lam min ba'di al min shay'a wa tal ardi hamidatan fa iza anzalna alayna al ma'a ahtazat wa rabat wa ambadat min kulli dhawjin bahij and this over here is another verse that we owe those who believe if you want to believe if you want to know about the day of resurrection see how we created the process of embryology is a very delicate process and understanding that needs a lot of precision work microscopes ultrasounds medical devices how could muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam know this 1400 years ago without any microscopes and this is a thing that even the atheists can't argue with when you say to atheist that um if you say to a book that how has it been created by itself you can't then how can the world create itself they still can find an argument to that because they say oh you are repeating the argument of so and so saint thomas aquinas you have repeated his argument no we have repeated his argument but can you find a proof for this argument can you disprove this argument but this argument cannot be disproven if how did he know 1400 years ago no microscope no camera no technology how did he know about that they cannot disprove that this is where they fall silent and how we make you like this we create you from an embryo then we cause you to deliver then we make you reach a children then from the age of 18 to 25 ashuddha we make you strong the um adulthood and then we return you back to the age of where you don't know after knowing everything lika ila ya ala min ba'di al min shay'a the person when he is born he does not know anything then he gains degrees he travels for knowledge and then the old age you forget about the knowledge the knowledge is now no more for example dementia or alzheimer's disease what are the symptoms of it in alzheimer's disease alzheimer's disease you forget your memory and you cannot recognize people for example ronald reagan he could not recognize anybody in the end except his wife so this is another example that 
which is natural it happens it's not just anyone it happens to everyone in the old age you forget go to a age where you go you don't remember after remembering zalika bi anna allah huwa al-haqq wa annahu yuhyi al-mawta wa annahu ala kulli shay'in qadeer because that is allah he is the truth and he is the one who can give life to the death and he is over everything powerful Seventh verse. Wa anna saat aatiyatul la riba fiya wa anna Allah yab asuman fil kubur. Indeed, the day of judgment will come, and Allah can resurrect whoever is in the kubur in the graves. And then after that, wa min al nasi man yujadilu fil Allahi bi ghairi ilmiu, wa la hudan wa la kitabi munir. And those who debate in Allah without any proof, sani aatiyat fi liudil la ansabi Allahi lahu fi dunya khizi wa nuzi ku huya mal kiamti azab al harik. He is proud in his walk, and He is happy that he has disobeyed Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, but he will be recompensed that day. Dal ke bi ma kadda ma kya akwa an Allah lai sabi Allah mil lila bit, and that is because what you have done. And Allah is not bad for the believers. Now, this is the end of the first section of Surah Al Hajj, the first ruku. Now, the start of the second verse of this ruku. No, the first verse of the second ruku is very important. This is a Madni Sura, but it's a very early Madni Sura, and this is where the basis of Nifaq is set up. The basis of Nifaq, and Nifaq is not right now made because you know the other Madni Suras. When you go ahead, like for example, um, Surah Al Munafikun, Surah Al Sumwa, then after that, when you go a little bit ahead, Surah Al Taqabun. Or some other Madni Sura that is a little more ahead, Surah Al Bakara, Surah Al Nisa. In these, the Munafikun are told, Surah Al Ali Imran. And over here, you can tell about the Munafikun, Surah Al Fat. Again, over there too, Surah Al Mujurat. Then after that, Surah Al Nur. All of these are about the Munafikun. But over here, this is about the basis of Nifaq, because. Over here, let me read the verse that I'm going to tell you. Wa min al-nasi bi yabudu Allah la harfain asaba wa khair nitmaan nabi wa inasabat wa fitna dunni kala wa alawa jiya khasi dal dunya wa alakhira zalika huwa al-khusran al-mubin. And those people who worship Allah as it were, when some good is with them, they do worship, and when some bad or test or trial or tribulation comes, they run away and they lose their hair after and they lose this world. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has created two main types of people: weak people, strong people. When you have strong people, they can withstand the problems, the suffering that is going to come eventually in the way of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Because the way was not always very easy. You had to endure suffering. Musa bin Umair, Rasulullah Taala, who he was, Musa bin Umair, Rasulullah Taala, who was one of the most richest Sahabi. and he had to still endure the tribulation and the suffering so everyone was tested but it was only the strong heart who would survive now these um weak hearted people they cannot take the suffering they want their deen is upon the iman their heart is upon the iman their heart is upon the faith but they run away they do not want this tribulation so they run away that is their problem يد أم من دون الله ما لا ينفعه ولا يضره وذلك هو الدلال البعيد. They call on Allah whatever not benefits him and whatever not helps him. This is the worst loss. يد أولى من دار الله كربو من نف إلى بيت سلمى ولا ولا بيت سلاش. He calls on those who are not in his profit and whose harm will never harm them or a benefit will never harm benefit will never benefit them. This is the worst patron. إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُدْخِلُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارُ And indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to admit those people who believe in the river of Eden which is paradise. Indeed Allah wants to do whatever he wants. إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَفْعَلُ مَا يُرِيدُ And this is where we will stop for today. This surah has a lot of, a lot of things that we need to discuss. And because of this, it will not be sufficient to discuss them in one episode this is why we will go on this surah gradually compared to the other surahs so this is why i would really think that we should stop here and inshallah 7th of ramadan we will proceed ahead from here the pro tip for today is in this is a really important pro tip again today's 
pro tip is that never lose the hope and never lose the faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because whenever anything bad happens to you, believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and don't be in a despair, in the hope of despair. It is in Surah Al-Zumar. قُلْ يَا عِبَادِ يَلَّزِكِنَ أَسْرَفُوا وَلَا أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَتُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهِ يَغْفِرُ الزُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا Oh, those slaves who have squandered themselves, do not be despaired from the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So remember that. That is all for today. Zakallahu khayn wa ahsanallahu alaykum. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.